Okay. I'm missing all the survivors at the gate because I'm focused on placing up one square. <laughs> Did they leave the already? Uh, yeah, they left already. Ah. That's, that's oh. unfortunate, but... They can't wait in the winter forever, you know? It's cold uh, just it standing out sense. there. everyone and welcome back to the Surviving the Aftermath weekly streams. Uh, I will be your host today. I am Benla, uh, the designer, and we have a guest today. Yay! Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Yusa. I'm a programmer at Iceflake. Worked, at, worked on the DLC2 that's releasing tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, DLC? Oh, you're doing like, <laughs> I was gonna do like a big thing, but you, now you spoiled it, but you know, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> So um, we are going to play Surviving the Aftermath, of course, uh, and we're checking out, you know, the new DLC that we'll be releasing tomorrow, almost exactly like 24 hours from now. I, I do believe now it's like 25 hours, but soon it'll be 24, so exciting. And I think we'll just, you know, hop right into it. So you have the control of everything. I have the control, I, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we do. So this is an older save, I believe. So you've actually played this before. Yeah, I played this save like two months ago. Uh, I think so. Okay. <laughs> I think it was like two months ago. Um, so it still looks similar. Nothing has changed similar. too much. Yeah, it is similar. Okay. And we have the beautiful Halloween, Halloween assets on at the moment. Um, I wonder what's the situation? Where's my pass being done? I mean, it looks do it, it looks like it's doing okay. So. Yeah. That's uh, good. We have we don't have any text going on, but we have six hundred points. Um, what should we, we don't actually? We have eating yet. We have trading. Concrete scavenging is missing. Ooh. Concrete is important, but also, did we have meals? I we always... didn't have meals yet, so that's probably a thing we should do. We have two entertainment mm -hmm. buildings as well. Okay, yeah, let's do a meal. Meals are always nice, especially with the new DLC. Especially with the new DLC. So uh, right now, we have just started the older save, but we have the new DLC on. Uh, so hopefully... Uh, after some time, uh, the new stuff will start happening. So, exciting. Should start pretty pretty soon, is the new car. Should, yeah. We'll uh, see. Actually, I do have some questions prepared, but uh, if you have any questions about this, please do ask them, because, uh, well, I did try to <laughs> come up with some interesting questions, but I... My imagination ran dry, and I have some no. stupid questions here in the end. <laughs> so I hope we don't have to go go to those. So, but I'll I'll start, and I'll ask you, even though I know the answer. Like, what have you done actually for this DLC? Have you done anything for this DLC? Tell me everything. A lot. <laughs> I, yeah. I think like most of the systems that DLC two provides are like uh, things that I have been programming. Uh, mm -hmm. There was some like couple couple of places where uh, we had others, other programmers as well working on the DLC too, but most of the time it was me. Nice. Uh, so if there are any bugs, we can just blame you, right? No blaming, no bugs. Bug free experience, of course. Wow, That's amazing. Well, so far it actually has been. So I am, I'm really proud of your work. So good wow, job. So far, nice. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> like it always five minutes. <laughs> But it always happens, you know, when you play the game on your own or something, it's totally bug free, but then you start streaming or showing it to your friends and suddenly everything just breaks and it makes no sense. But hopefully that won't happen today. No, 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 no. Yeah. I guarantee I don't a bug free either. experience. Guarantee. <laughs> guarantee. Yeah. Amazing. Um, uh, oh, there's the DLC one as well. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There mm, are some. Should we attack? Bandits. Oh no. I'll take Maybe the Maybe we should. This is last one over here. Mm. I'm very slow today. Let's see. 
We have a question here uh, from Iso Eloka. Why is everything not on fire? Well, because uh, people who have played this before have uh, apparently known what they have been doing. So, you know, good yeah. job. It's all me. It's all me. <laughs> Maybe at the end of today, everything will be burning. That would be no. quite the challenge, though. No, no. Okay, so we get the main quest further. Uh, with one last location that we need to visit. Mm. I think we should send Dragon. Yeah. Oh, well, we actually have a lot of specialists. We should we like, have a find a way to get rid of them. <laughs> I don't yeah. like that there are so many of them. Yeah, I think I think so as well. Mm, yeah. Let's see. Hopefully yeah. soon we can start building the outposts. So We should have outposts research. Do we have it built? I don't think mm. so, because it's not anywhere here. But are we there? Actually, because the main quest might not be. No, we advanced. don't have the engineer outpost, but we do have the normal. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. I don't see any outpost, so let's. Yeah, me neither. We could also lend the specialists to societies, right? Oh, if yeah, we... let's see what red quest we have. We have yeah. one with the rewards, so let's get Amazing. those. We have money and reputation. And then there's some big bandits mm. exactly right here. So, um, so mm. we have scrap power here, which can deal with those. Uh, Amazing. Turn, so that's that's nice. It's soon taken care of. Yeah. And the gate can go back to the base. Mm. As well as Karambit, but there's the Bandits that can attack, which is scary, <laughs> especially when the specialist is that low, low HP. Yeah. Um, I do like that about the new DLC. Uh, I mean, not the new DLC, because the new DLC is the new DLC, but you know, the previous DLC. So you can, you can no longer just roam the wasteland and be safe. Things can happen. Which lights in the sky? Carnival of Chaos. Hmm. Um, of course, we want to investigate, right? But focusing on security, maybe? No? Maybe we should prepare one first. Let's see. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, we I get components. That. That's nice. And we get hope. Yes, so that's one of the new features that you get hope uh, from the events. And that's great. Yeah. And oh. we actually missed the landing of the new, oh. new <laughs> deposits. That's beautiful when they land. How could how could we have done this? We're it too distracted. So eventually in the DLC to the uh, shattered moon will start dropping its remnants to the ground, which you can call it for some resources, and that pretty much starts the gameplay loop of the DLC too. And this event is basically explaining what the what the moon resource is about. Oh yeah, but we don't have to read that. No, we, don't we have already to read. know. That's that's long. That's long. We don't have to do that. <laughs> uh, we got the research done. Mm -hmm. Do we want big fields or do? I think do concrete have... is pretty important. Oh, true. Yeah, true. Let's let's get concrete because we have points for that. We do need that. Do we actually have resources for our new and beautiful buildings? We do. Oh, we um, have a lit so little wood. Okay. <laughs> well, I think we have to sort that out. Yeah. Um, we want to have this at like pretty sen center of the colony, so maybe here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they can fall anywhere, these moon rocks. Yeah. Okay. Then we got the colony square as well, which we could build, but I think we want some wood first. Um, we actually have like a Halloween themed question here in the chat. Does the local population uh, go trick and trick and treating in the game universe? So uh, they don't, or maybe they do, because they do have those, you know, masks on and little costumes, and then you can see like a little witch's hat. So you know, maybe they're kind of trick or treating. They could. I don't know where they could get the candy though. Maybe they have like a secret stash. Maybe. Well, they, well, they have candy bars. 
Oh, well, they not do. Not at the moment, but... But they're rare. I yeah. mean, would you just give that to someone you're, like, starving and they're like, oh, somebody cute came here. So I'll just give them everything I have. Of course. Of, co- of course. Oh. <laughs> oh, sure. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Uh, um, another beautiful question uh, from Isaiah Look again. A moon rock fall into my morning coffee and how does it affect the taste? Hmm. Technically could, but would there after that be a coffee mug or coffee? That's a different question. But I do think it would enhance the taste anyway. You know, some of that great moon moon taste. I I feel like paste more like uh, toothpaste. Toothpaste? Isn't toothpaste. it like rock and dust and? It's rock and dust, but it's blue. <laughs> it's fantastic Just, uh... taste like toothpaste. So like minty, minty fresh. Yeah, exactly. I think I think that's a good logic. Sure, let's go with that. I actually have uh, one question that I was preparing, and this is one of the good questions. So, do you remember how long we have worked on this DLC? So I should maybe say that I have also worked in deep on this DLC mainly as the designer. So we've like been working closely together for the past how many months? I don't remember. Couple of months. It's been a while. It has. It like I really can't remember, but like four, at least. More. 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 More than that. Yeah. It's just my brain and maths, they don't work well together. You just Uh, there was an event. (laughs) What did it say? I just it's just a quest thought. We have raiders here. We need to We have raiders. We have raiders. Uh. Uh, okay. What kind of outpost should we build? Because the, yeah, DLC, the, the new alliances brings a lot more use for these. Um, True. We could have... Mm-hmm-hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe we, maybe we just at the start. Hmm. Let's see, where could There's we There's so many get... options. Some good research. There's, there's two points. There's five survivors. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Do we have like fun boxes? Or do no, we, we don't have fun food? boxes? Uh, fun boxes are nice. They we are 49. 49 is too it's much. Pretty, <laughs> pretty much at the moment because we don't yeah. have a huge colony, so it doesn't, it isn't needed as much. But here yeah. is three science, so that's, oh, here's four. Mm. We could also just go to the north because I don't know if you know this, but in the north there is best science potential because the tundras okay. add like a, a like a bonus to everything you find. So you know, Not it's like a. Out. <laughs> you know, there is a bonus also in the desert biomes, but in the tundras is the maximum. So the more you know, more you know. <laughs> the four points is pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we are collecting the moon. Slow. Oh, now we are. Amazing. And once we have enough of the lunar dust, what can we do with it? Why are you collecting it? Please uh, refresh my memory. Um. So the moon dust, which we get, or lunar dust, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, which we get from the moon rocks, we can actually use to enhance the production of the most of the buildings. Basically, all the buildings that have some kind of um, efficiency about them. So mm-hmm. medical tents, which speeds them up, so people get better faster. The doctors are so good at their work. <laughs> and then the buildings that uh, produce resources actually produce more and faster. So. For example, Scrapper would build a lot more. Basically, doubles the output it gives, and work speed is plus fifty percent. So that's pretty nice. That's great. That's pretty nice. But we need then uh, Luna dust for that before hmm. we can do that. But after that, we'll see how it actually works. It's pretty nice. It helps, all, especially if you start the game with the DLC on. Hmm. It's especially useful because you can focus on much more different things while giving one recycle only boosts and it basically produces all the plastic you need. Yeah, 
It's very useful and I do love it, especially because I love to play like uh, on the most hard settings there are. So it really helps with that. Yes. And we can start building a doomsday bunker. And we yeah. have a, like a great increase of hope, but we all already were like at a maximum. So sadly, the hack's gone to waste. Yeah, but that's fine. Um, that is. But we also... We have forest. We do. Uh, yeah. Of course. Every, every colony needs a forester. Exactly. But I was about to say that uh, even though in the harder, harder uh, difficulty setting that I like to play with, you know, the lunar dust really helps. But then the hope also is a much bigger challenge. So I'm not sure if it makes the game easier or harder or it stays the same as it was like before this DLC. But it's a new challenge, challenge it, for sure. And I love it. It balances itself out, I think, pretty well. Uh, it does. Uh, yeah, we fun. have another question from a Volus dude. But Moon is made of cheese. Shouldn't Moon Rock coffee taste like cheddar? <laughs> you know what I imagine? Yeah, that they don't like taste the coffee. coffee. Mm. <laughs> I mean, but people do like put milk and cream in their coffee. So isn't that kind of like the same thing? I, uh, mm. <laughs> hmm. I don't Maybe like we should the try idea. Tomorrow. Least, no, 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 no. <laughs> We don't yeah, to try no, no. yeah, yeah, I'll just bring like cheddar here and we can all drink cheddar coffee. You know, that would be like a great uh, prank at uh, April Fool's Day. Just for cheese in everybody's coffee. I don't think people would appreciate that, especially if it's the morning coffee. <laughs> well, but that's that's the point of April Fool's. It's just haha funny pranks for me who it's makes just the pranks. A <laughs> I understand. Mm, yeah, you should you should be worried uh, on uh, April yeah, first. I, I need to be careful. Mm -hmm. And when then we have another question. Hi there, is this game available for PS4? And yes, yes it is. And this DLC that we're playing right now uh, will also be available on PlayStation. And that will be tomorrow. So. Pretty Maybe. much 24 hours from now it should be released. I, yeah. I'm not sure about the global times, like in America, how it goes, but True. around 24 hours in, and it should be Yeah. Out. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. okay. And then there is another question from R Arpia. Arpia. Uh, what's the setting for this? You're the pr primitives? Uh, I just bombarded in Stellaris. Uh, maybe. Did you did you bombard Earth or <laughs> maybe we're not on, on Earth? I don't actually know. It could be like a different planet that just is very similar. So maybe maybe. Oh, we have okay. we written have the stars. um like the small DLC quest that released <laughs> released when the game came out with the season pass. Game. That's great. So all kinds of deals. Everything is just tick right now. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff going on. Wow. And I also see that might have happened a while ago. There's so many things going on. The sabotage attempt has failed. So, you know, yay. That. We need some <laughs> bomb bunkers. We do. We need a lot of things. But they... Yeah. Eventually. <laughs> Currently, we, we got lucky, but we'll see in the future. Yeah. Um, we'll see, but we have a lot to build and a lot to research, so we can't do everything at once. We get some food from the raiders. That's amazing, nice. amazing. Amazing. Okay. We need to get some research and What's pretty that? fast we mm. have some research points that we can collect like easily. Yep. Mm, yes. Well, there's so, yeah. Let's put Kate over there. Kate is um, a bit slow, but maybe she'll reach in time. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> what do we need? We have how much do we have happiness? I should think hmm. we have plus five. That's nice. Um, it's very nice. Oh no, we have no forest there, so let's move it over here. Uh, do we have and... concrete scavenger built yet? No, that's a good point. Let's actually 
see if we have any. Oh, we have a lot of coffee so, over here. Very nice. So, hmm. I kind of want the collection be a bit closer to the concrete. Oh yeah. Let's let's have it here and get some roads. Very nice. Oh. Roads are the way to go. Oh no, the the deposit is in the way. Yeah, that's so annoying oh, when no. that happens. <laughs> let's the shift road. it. Very nice. Some... Wow, they're already building it. These guys are efficient. Yeah, and actually we can try out the boosting with the lumber yard because we are running on wood, so we can try it out how it right. actually works. So we go over here about the lumber yard and we press overtime and we <gasps> beautiful. See that we get a lot of blue arrows and it lasts for forty eight hours, so two days. And wow. Our wood production is basically over double. What and after be. that, we won't ever have problems with wood again. Yeah. Ever. In the history Probably. of this colony, it will never happen again. All done. Okay. There's almost nothing in this sector. Yeah. One bandit. One lonely bandit. All Aww. came back to the... Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, where are the rest of the quest bandits? Over here at least, so we can have that over there. Good idea. Okay. And actually, we have the one red quest. Mm -hmm. What animals we can send Worth over here? Oh, yeah. And they should be able to make it on time. They should be. They are scout and they actually have a really good attack stat. I believe 25 per turn. That's so great. That's pretty nice. Oh, no. Yeah, we need to get the meal production going. We don't need water wells for that. We need what a tower. Yes. Mm, so What's here are the the, the the fields. fields so maybe we yeah. should like around here. Maybe is there also like a food storage nearby? Food storage is over here. Oh yeah. But we can put one even closer if we want to like maximize the uh, logistics. Isn't that a bit too much mean maxing? Or do you it's, usually it's do that? It's a bit. I usually put like food stories around every single food mm. producer I have, so they think they don't need to carry it around. True. And we have enough of everything to build these. That is great. Yeah, we have survivors. Let's get him. Oh no! And of course, one of them. Two ah. of them. Two of them. Well, we do have specialists, luckily, and we have here. Two, we have two guards as well. That's great. That's Usually, nice. I like to play without guards because, well, I'm a bad player. So, oh. and then sometimes I also don't have any specialists in the colony. And then I just anyway take everyone in and then these hostile guys just wreck everything. <gasps> Something just fell. Didn't it? Yeah, moon rock. More um, moon rock. How does this look? We have one more deposit here to collect, and then the concrete scavenger has done its job. Amazing. This one as well. So we can demolish that. Okay. Oh no, we have the burial pit over here, so we don't have to worry about anything. Wow. Isn't that? Everything close? is going just so well. Yeah. Let's build our outpost. And it's lucky because I don't think today we will have to worry about hope because, well, hope falls uh, slowly. But, you know, maybe in if we continue with the save, the people after us might have a hard time ahead of them. Some problems. That's yeah. fine. Um, huh? I wonder if we should... All of our specialists are really good. <laughs> they are! Hmm. I mean, hmm, maybe... Well, everybody, everyone here in the colony, at least. Yeah. Oh, no. Winter Winter's storm. coming! Let's have the four stands. Uh, do we want to give them anything? That's a lot of money. I don't like that. Yeah, I mean, and that's a lot they'll of probably lose. Well. Probably. You know, the mm. gate is strong. 
It is wrong. We have nothing for them. <laughs> okay, um, hmm. It's not yeah, as it's great fine. as fine. I have It's home. fine, it's fine. Okay, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time. Just in time. And should we... We could recruit... Rose. Do we want a Rose? Yeah, we can make that um, uh -huh. into the settler. Great, great, great. Let's great. do that. Yeah. And this time, let's go north. Okay. Amazing. Is there anything actually in the north yet? I don't think yet, but Dragoon is searching for something. Something. <laughs> There's that's five a... survivors over here, so if we want to get some early survivors, mm. that's a way to go. That's true. Yeah, they are repairing the gate. Mm, and then the meal. Um, Everything's going so well. Maybe, I don't know. We have mm. a lot of vegetable here so we could boost this like i don't like boosting after we get two workers to the mm. building so it's more like more efficient very true Even also because winter is coming shouldn't we harvest everything that's true i always forget to do that and then the I, same. I'm sad <laughs> and i'm sad uh this battle is ongoing okay and actually how is our burner Situation. Do we have? Oh, yeah. We we have have. One over here and one at the tenements. Like, we could have one over, over to the north as well. Yeah. Do we have any, like, fisheries or stuff? Because they kind of function well in the cold. There's some fisheries. Do we have the. Um. It's only fishing beer. We don't have the. A winter version. The upgrade. Mm. And now the winter is already here. Let's harvest. <laughs> yep, time to do that. And we have a lot of firewood, so I'll just put some. <laughs> put them uh, everywhere. I'll put them everywhere. That's Nobody... also mean maxing, because, you know, even if a building does not necessarily need to be heated up, the colonists working in there, if the, col if the building is cold, they'll get cold and then they have to go home and warm up sooner than they normally would have to. Yep. Why do we have so many malnourished colonists? Don't we have... We do, but the meals are just coming in. Really just much. coming in. Just coming in, yeah. I wonder if they take... Yeah, they should put the meals on this storage at the moment because it's the closest one. And then this is here for the fishery. Mm. Um, okay. And then we have more more things to go deal with in the world, man. Um, uh, so many things. So many specialists so many and so things. many things. Oh, no. <laughs> they, they, they hate us. They, they hate us. They didn't get there in time. I'm so sorry. How may I help? Unfortunate. Lock Very it. unfortunate. Well, we'll get the next one. Mission complete. Okay, so the quest should be done with that. And we actually get more hope here. So That's much nice. hope. And fun boxes. Oh boy. That's great. Mission complete. Oh, Hospitalia. They have Grand Hospital. They don't have any reach. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yep. Uh, let's see what's step. Oh, and trade deals. Should we trade? Of course. Trading is fun. Let's see. Is so, Luston, we have pretty good relationship with. Do they have some good seeds? I mean, they do have the, the what is it called? Herbs. And we do need herbs in the oh, long run. Oh, they have herbs. Yep. What if my lights go out? <laughs> oh, you're in the dark. I got my lights back. 
Good job. Uh, herbs, sure. And we can sell some components. Well. We have so many components. Okay. Yeah. We have some components. How about firewood? We also have a lot we of have a lot of, yeah. Oh, little money though. And got some tools. No, you never sell tools. If we you're gonna sell look... tools, we could sell plastic. Let's sell a bit of, a bit of plastic. <gasps> okay. Just, just because we can. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe some medicine as well. No, we just refuse to give them to those poor, hungry yeah. people. But now yeah. we get money for it. I'm sure they would have paid. Sure. Yeah. So now the moon deposits are cleared over here, so let's move it to collect this. This one here. And uh, I did answer this the last time I was uh, uh, streaming, but in case somebody wasn't here, why is the moon breaking right now? Like, what's going on? And I do think you know the answer to this, or then you can just improvise something if you don't remember. I need to improvise. Okay, great. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. Why is moon breaking right now? Right now, yeah. That's it's a, a really question. good question. It's a trick question. Well, it was always broken in the bling, aftermath, bling, bling. aftermath uh, story, so it, it just makes sense. <laughs> yes, this is the correct answer. This is just something I saw on the theme or somewhere I don't remember anymore but, but it has always been broken and that's one of the core reasons the aftermath even happened so now we're just you know enhancing that because many people didn't know that that was like a big part of our game now it is <laughs> now it is yes way, everyone uh, knows now oh and we have event we have so much going on source of sickness so should we take a risk or no, no. We, we keep no. the medicine. We get the no risk it nah well <laughs> i think it's fair we did have a lot of medicine we had i think we still 29 so that's nice uh should we build anything maybe another cookhouse actually another cookhouse or maybe should we should I... re research the yeah that's true. Mm. Is the line boost. So oh, we can, yeah. true. We can true, boost, true. The, boost the cookhouse for massive amounts of meals. Massive. Massive amounts of meals. Here we have raid. Where are they going? Mm. They're going probably over the Luston since it's Luston's request. So, so, so. Okay. Let's move mm. some people over there. Let's do that. Sounds good. Uh, I don't see any good science points at the north. How may I help you? Uh, Maybe they're just hidden. They are hidden really well. That's that's <laughs> two. All right. Can we scout? We can scout. Let's do that. Okay. Good. Oh no, the wind is here. <laughs> Well, we don't have anything to worry about. We have firewood and now uh, keys and everybody's happy. Yeah. Um, after we get that research, we can assign another one to the cookhouse and then actually have them work overtime. So what a well, nice poor, poor workers, but uh, good for the colony. Yeah. And maybe we should actually build the trauma center as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, even Good though we call. don't currently have any problems with the new condition that the DLC brings. Um, I think it's a good thing to do anyways. It is because, well, hope keeps falling always. And if we're not lucky with the events or things we can do, uh, and we, for some reason, maybe don't even have resources at that point, it's going to become a problem because the anguished colonists will become hostile and they will destroy everything. So we don't want that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, we get hot start over here. 
I actually do have some more DLC related questions here. So what was the most challenging thing to program if you have any of those or what was your favorite feature maybe to program or just, you know, in general? Hmm. Yeah, difficult questions, I know. I don't think there was any particular one that was like insanely hard. Mm -hmm. uh, but the overtime feature that yeah. we have and the falling moon moon deposits, like those two mm -hmm. probably were my favorite, oh, favorite yeah. things to make. Uh, just Very because uh, like when programming, the best things to program are the things that you can see immediately in the game. Mm -hmm. So like those are especially the moon ones that fall down the sky when I was testing the first versions, like it felt pretty nice yeah. to actually see it working. I did like the, well, in the beginning there were just like hundreds of moon rocks at once. That doesn't happen anymore, but that was a uh, fun part. A lot of moon deposits. So many moon deposits. And then we have a comment here I'd like to read from uh, Lord Vanazir. I got this game through a Twitch giveaway a few, few weeks ago. Uh, congratulations to you. Loving it, but I would love to see this game done without needing to put everything into a grid. So you'd like to just place everything anywhere. That's cool. Like, but personally, uh, I do I do just like, I like having everything, you know, on a grid so it's like symmetrical. Like that one. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's an opinion. Two. All right. All right. Did you yeah, just it, waste the scrap? Yeah, I, I wasted because it's waiting for the for the hmm, the raid that's coming to the last last on area. Did you have to get those uh, APs zero, yes. zero or? <laughs> yes, I have to get those. Okay. We get some meals. We have to wait for another moon deposits to drop, but we do have quite a bit of the Luna dust. Yeah. We can be boosting the boosting this building's production with it. But it's good to have you it's good to have some in the story just because there might be some bandits coming along. I know there will be that will demand to have the lunar dust. So if That's you don't want to fight them, you should have some. My pleasure. That's true. Okay. So we have meals. We have some. Drama, drama center is built. Should we actually start building the uh, colony square? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, because it's a big building. Oh, and the Ooh. the bunker as well. Oh yeah, that takes so much of everything as well. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Where is good place to Ooh. put this? That's a great place, you know, in the it's, center of it's, everything. It's, but I know it's they, not min maxing, but you know, it's pretty. No, but it takes the road away, but I guess that's We fine. don't need the road. We need but fun. Road. We need road. The, <laughs> We need Tori. We need Colony Center. Okay. Right at the front of the gate? Hmm. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Know. Everybody who comes in needs to know, like, this is a fun place to be. But then we could put it over the burial bit. Uh, hmm. What's the fun. logic behind that? That's also fun. Huh. Well, um, I guess. Mm. There are many places. Maybe here. That's a good place as well. No, the deposit. Deposit is blocking us. <laughs> yeah. Well, well. There. That's good. Yes. <laughs> So happy. of everything. Oh no. Um, I'm missing all the survivors at the gate because I'm focused on placing up one square. <laughs> Did they leave the already? Uh, yeah, they left already. Ah. That's, that's oh. unfortunate, but... They can't wait in the winter forever, you know? It's cold, uh, just it standing out sense. there. Um... Okay, maybe... Maybe a good. I don't mm. know. What should we? What get? should we do? Uh, hmm. Why the BS is nice. It is. 
I mean, and the ice fishing thing is very useful. But is there something more fun that we could just... Uh, fun? I mean, well, better housing the or... Research, the research for the uh, societies, that's one. Do we have a secure lab yet? No. Or do we no. even have enough science points for that? And we need electricity. <laughs> and that's we have also electricity. true. Well, mm. there's wind power. You could research for the wind power. Yeah. Mm. 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 They all take so many science points. That's true. <laughs> that is true. I'll, mm. just, I'll just... Yeah, let's do that. That's, that's fine. Yeah, let's go for that. Actually, do we have the society people made? I don't think so. Oh yeah, we also do need that. There is an order to everything. So, it's nice that I don't know where it is. It's there, isn't it? Somewhere. Mm. Got it. And then we also need to build a radio tower. Why there are way too many buildings? We have a lot to build. Um, yep. Yeah. That's in sure. place. Yes. Yes, it is. And then the radio tower. This can't just go be? anywhere. <laughs> Pretty anywhere. much. Where is it nice? Like, Where is it beautiful? Besides, besides the... Uh, this? I don't know, but you should place it somewhere so that oh, always paused. So, yeah, we can check out yeah. this thing. Lurking what? beast. Of course we hunt down the beast. Of course. All right then. Oh, I double clicked. I'm too fast on my fingers. <laughs> we got something out of it. <laughs> I actually just went through it really fast. That's yeah, nice. that's nice. We have a uh, lovely, lovely comments here. First, can I hear heavy Finnish accent? Yes, that's us. Heavy Finnish accenters. And then we have a great pun, uh, or I don't know, maybe this is a fact. Did you know uh, that cities of Turku and Rauma, which are cities in Finland, decided to join together? The new entity is known as Trauma. I'm from Turku, so I can relate so much to this. Thank you. Thank you for this joke. Trauma. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you're an, are you, have you actually ever been to Rauma or Turku? No, I, I haven't been to Rauma or Turku. Oh, or, you haven't? Yeah. Wait, yeah. are you serious? Uh, you haven't? No, I haven't gone to those places. Oh, yeah, I mean, my heart is like aching and hurting, and uh, you should. I mean, I every time uh, I speak about my hometown, I'm like saying bad things about it. But you should definitely visit. Summer? It's beautiful hmm. in summer. Yes. All right. Like most places in Finland. Like most places, yes. But yes. it's especially yeah. beautiful. What's up? What's up? Then I think uh, we still have ten minutes, so I will ask my. <laughs> Silly questions now. It's silly question time. So I was trying to come up with questions that had something to do with, you know, a moon and Halloween, you know, the season's still ongoing. So one of my great questions is, do you like vampires more than well werewolves? And please elaborate. I think werewolves are much cooler. In my okay. mm, yeah, but why though? Um, uh, I don't know, actually. Maybe because they are, like, beasts, so they are more scary than vampires. Oh, yeah. Or that Jacob, if that is his name, is hotter than Edward. Do you no, remember still? No. <laughs> you know, back when Twilight was still, you know, I talked about yeah. topic. <laughs> that was cool. A couple, so. couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah, like ten. <laughs> couple? Oh, we have... Another Turco comment. Oh, I do love these. Uh, all I hear about Turco in the news is that there is a funiculare. Yes, there is. And it is once again broken. It breaks like every week or something. And that's great. So if you don't know what a funiculare is, that's like a, a better elevator, like a fun kind of elevator that takes you, I don't know, like 10 meters, 20 meters up a hill. And that's so much fun. But yeah, it was, I believe, made somewhere, you know, uh, other than Finland, and it really does not handle ice and cold and snow very well. So that's one of Turku's many successful projects that I loved. 
Saanko mä? Hmm. Ai jää, visit turku, visit funikulaari, and then get stuck on it, and... Yeah, enjoy That, That's the best part, getting stuck. <laughs> okay. That is... That's what you hope would happen, like, yeah, I hope it will get stuck this time. Sounds safe. It is safe. It's just fun. It's fun, Nikolai. Where did the moon drop? Oh, there. Okay. Did you find it? Yep. All right. So let's get some more. Oh. Is there anything we should boost at the moment, actually? I'm boosting the cool house at the moment. Mm-hmm. Anything but else? Anything else? Like have, like, I don't everything. think so. Like, we, if you have tool shop, but I don't think we have one yet. Actually, do we have enough resources to hold a feast? Because I would just love to do that, even though we don't really need... Well, we're actually just, you know, getting uh, yeah, getting we, to the danger zone, so... Have. We do have. Let's do it. That's a lot of resources. We want to see the feast animations, because <laughs> they're beautiful. Maybe we'll do that. Well, Everyone is happy. Great Some things are happening. People with wolf masks are going Party. hard. <laughs> oh yeah, those are the werewolves now. That's great. I just love this building. I think it's so unique and beautiful. And kind of like, looks like an astronaut, so... You know. Yeah. It definitely beautiful. looks like an astronaut. I mean, it could also maybe also look like a submarine. What is the submarine guy? Like a person who is a submarine? Do you know what I mean? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the. <laughs> I don't know what they are called, but. I I hope yeah. Hopefully, everybody in the chat also understood what I meant. But diver, thank you, thank you, Nurgle. Diver. But like a cool diver, like an old school diver. But yeah. Like steampunk diver. Like 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 the one that it's it's you know the scooby-doo like evil guy in oh there. yeah 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 so that oh, nice. and then we have another vampire comments but it's fine they pat people on, on the back and say be positive be positive yes <laughs> that's great but actually i do agree i i do like work werewolves uh more as well i also don't know why but i guess they're cuter cuter okay yeah they're well that first part's cute they're like basically human but that they have ears that's cute they do have ears <laughs> i mean where this is well i mean what vampires have where they have cute werewolf ears we still have five minutes. Should we like uh, do something special? Something special, like start building a. Like destroy everything, demolish everything, and then that's a fun prank to no. the next players. No, it's not, uh. it's not April yet. It's not April yet. I know. But um, it's just... Christmas soon. Then is there? We like do some kind of decoration with like torches or something. Could you like draw something with the torches, like Santa Claus? Oh no! <laughs> you know, I have these kind of uh, easy and fun challenges. We I can, could I also can, just. I, can like, Ooh, I think that's more seasonal. We're still in the Halloween season. Yeah. There's one bush I built last time, so I'll what? put this next. Oh yeah. One. So like every time this game is played, like there is one. One decor more decoration. <laughs> I do like that, yeah. I think that's great. Oh, we do have an ev event also, if we want to check that out. You can check that out. That's beautiful. I that's do great. like that. They have an idea. Hmm. Provide some so clothing. Okay. I do think we are giving her the fiber. Like, I have one yeah. friend who keeps telling me that this event is broken because every time uh, he fails to like uh, get the good result there is a good result i've seen it many times so maybe we can have that now ah uh, well not this time <laughs> not this time maybe this is the good result 
maybe maybe there's an even worse result yeah we don't know that exactly <laughs> Uh, but, but maybe we should leave that for the next person to we should uh, definitely do that also the bad news research facilities disrupted that's that's not on us somebody else can uh, handle that yeah as i'm more be able to check your lab but we don't have that yeah, yeah. but yeah um just uh to recap this dlc shattered hope will uh release tomorrow in almost exactly 24 hours if we are correct so if you're interested please get it played let us know how you feel and thank you so much for joining us today and thank you you so this was again a great pleasure to have you here thank you thank you it's always nice to be here it sure is all right thank you everyone and have a great week day and uh, everything so goodbye goodbye